If you've watched my video for any length of time or any over the last three years, you know that I believe I'm a long-term investor and I've identified some undervalued assets in the genome sequencing and genome uh, editing a category that I believe that are going to skyrocket once that medicine becomes a part of our lives. I've taken a beating. I've lost 70% on some of my stocks, but I still believe in them. Much as I'm now I'm obsessing on whiskey, I've recognized an arbitrage. I've recognized that there's I can go into a store and buy something for $199 and turn around and sell it for $5,000 immediately or hold on to it for a longer time and even make bigger profits. I want to get into that a little deeper today and explain to you what I'm doing. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. In my business career, I never felt I needed to reinvent the wheel. What I needed to do was just be observant and observe what is going on and then connect the dots and see how I could benefit from change by getting ahead of that change. Now, I've, I, I've been doing three videos in succession about what I've learned about buying whiskey, what I learned about the bottle of my uh, Pappy Van Winkle that went from $250 uh, a bottle to 52,000, what I've learned. And yesterday I showed you a video of a CBS report where a reporter went into a Los Angeles liquor store and examined this guy's inventory and, and what we learned from it. And I want, I want to ask you, what did you learn from it and what did you do from it? I want you to watch this clip here a little bit and I want to ask you, did you act on what you saw? And I'm going to show it to you again now. And let's see if this time you pick up on it. Liquid gold. How much are you selling this guy for? It's about 190000 190000 Yeah, be careful. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, there's a down payment on a house. I, you know, it is a retail store, so like we're supposed to be selling stuff, but it really kind of breaks my... Could be a tempting investment, rivaling gold and silver. Whoever bought this off the shelf paid 50 bucks for it, and now it's about seven seventy. There, you saw it again. Did you see the McAllen's uh, 50 that was $190,000 a bottle. Did you stop the video and blow it up and look at that and see that? Did you see the old Forester 150? Did you see the Pappy Van Winkle and then the price tag of it of $8,400? How about the $50 bottle that was now worth $7,500? That was A.H. Hirsch. Did you stop the video, blow up the bottle and get and, and uh, identify it? Those are long-term investments. So let me tell you what I did. I then went, as I told you in a previous video, that the my state of Alabama has pre prints a price list of every uh, uh, liquor that they sell, and they are going to have a, a new release, and they have given me the prices that they're going to have the new release. So then I went to my uh, Google and looked up each of these bottles. Here's a bottle um, of uh, Angel's Angel's Envy Cast Strength Bourbon, um, 122 proof. Uh, my store is going to sell it for $239, and the uh, uh, the Google price is $499. So is that a good buy? Well, it's about a 50% discount. Then let's go over to um, the Double Eagle Rare. This is another one of Buffalo Traces. Again, it's on my price list. I look at it and it says they're going to be asking $1,999.99. But then I go and I look on Google and out of Alabama, out in the um, open states, that bottle sells for $12,999, past issues of it. So I'm buying it at 15%. Then I go and I see a Eagle Rare 17-year. Uh, it's selling for $99. That's much more reasonable. If I go to an open state, it's $1,999. I'm buying it at 5% of what I can sell it for in an open state. And it gets better than that. So then what I do is I see 
that that uh, has a I, I copy the label so I can when I go into the store I can know I'm buying what I'm buying then you saw the Pappy Van Winkle that he was sitting in a box and then you saw the label on it for eighty four hundred eight thousand four hundred dollars I can buy that bottle of Pappy Van Winkle 23 year uh, for three hundred and twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and the average price around the United States for that same bottle is eight thousand or six thousand eight hundred and fifteen dollars. So I'm buying it at five percent of the open retail price, and that's that's not a rarity. Here's one, um, Pappy Van Winkle, uh, one hundred proof, twenty five year. It sells for. Uh, in my store for $1,669.22. Guess what it sells for on the open market? $58,000, but it has to be in a decanter. So I've taken a picture of the decanter and I put that here. So I will walk into the liquor store with my book here that I've created and I will have an advantage because I'll understand what the fair market price is this. These are undervalued assets. Then does this does this work on everything? No, it doesn't. Here is Glenn Levitt single malt scotch, 92 proof, 50 year. It comes in a decanter. I have a picture of it. So if I see it, um, my store is going to offer it for get this, $32,500. On the open market, it's $40,000. Will I buy one? Probably not. But what I'm saying is I have an advantage now. I have identified liquors that are available to me at a very different discount price. This is an arbitrage. Then let's go back to the uh, McAllen. Remember, we saw it in the video for what was it, 180 some thousand dollars? I can buy McAllen's for 4749 and the uh, Google price is 5242 So there are, there are discrepancies in price, and then there are those, and what I have found, my best advantage here in Alabama is Kentucky bourbon. Uh, here I found, and th this kind of blows you away, here's a Johnny Walker um, 8, 1805 Scotch, um, and I can buy it for $31,153 in my liquor store when they have this new release uh, that's going to be in March. And the open market on that is about 35000 So I don't think I'll be buying that. But my point is, whether it's um, genome sequencing stocks or genome editing stocks or bourbons or whiskeys or, or scotches, if you will do your research and if you will pay attention to what people are saying and then dig deep and do your research, and, and what I'm saying is for relative to whiskeys, in your state, there are 17 states that have this discrepancy that are what they call closed states, that the state liquor board sets the retail price. And usually the retail price is a percentage above the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Now, the, on the open states, they don't pay any attention to the manufacturer's suggested list price because they know that there is such a rarity and there's such a demand for this that they can get whatever they ask. So how do they set their price? They go to Google and they see what the other what is it, uh, would be, if there's 17, the other 33 states in the United States, what the independent retailers are selling this stuff for. So that's investing. That's finding an advantage and then researching it and being knowledgeable of it. As I said, I even have go to the extent that I put a picture of what the bottle that they're selling in New York for $35,000 looks like so that if mine is $31,000, i am sure I'm buying the right thing, okay? That's just good investing. 
And that's all built around research. So how do you get access to, to what I'm doing? This is going to be a part of my book. This is going to be a part of the book that I'm writing about all that I'm learning about investing in rare whiskeys. And then I'm going to print, I'm going to put an ebook of it together and I'm going to make it available to the first 1,000 of you that says, yeah, Carrie, I want to go down this path with you as well. And I want to learn what you've learned. And then in exchange, Carrie, I'll share my knowledge with you. That's what this is all about. I just saw a tweet on on uh, Twitter by Tom Nash that said, anybody who gives away or teaches says he'll teach you how to do something to make a lot of money is a scam because all, if they could really make all that much money, they wouldn't share it with you. Well, Tom... I know you're 35 years old or so something of that. You haven't grown up yet. There's more to this life than just filling your pockets. It's about sharing. And what you'll learn, Tom, is if you'll share with somebody, 90% of them will give back to you and it will be Bennett. You reap what you sow, Tom. And if you aren't sowing, I know what you'll be reaping in the future. So that's my take on this. I'm going to keep beating this drum because I believe this is a unique opportunity. And I don't know, my, my state may figure it out. I know North Carolina has not figured it out. They're doing the same things. So if you live in one of the 17 states, I told you what they were in a prior video, go find them, go to their, to their uh, ABC board, and you will find a printed list of their prices, and then you just do your research. And then you get in the lottery and you walk into that store with your book that says, hey, that's at a 95% discount from the rest of the world. And then you hand them your credit card and then, and then you make the decision, am I going to immediately sell it? And we can talk about on our Discord how you're going to sell it. But, or am I going to hold on to it? Like that Pappy Van Winkle that in 09, I paid $250 for, and I did not touch it. And on December the 22nd of uh, 2022 at Sotheby's, two bottles, two bottles went for $52,000 and $52,500. Look it up. Don't trust me. Look it up. All right. That's my take. That's my give. No, that's not a take. That's a give. That's a give of my knowledge and my experience, and you do with it what you want. All right. Again, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm a retired financial advisor. I, unlike Tom, want to share my knowledge with you, and I'm not even going to charge you a nickel for it. Talk to you again tomorrow, probably about the stock market a little bit more, but don't give up on the genome sequencing and genome editing. That is an undervalued asset that is going to explode. Now, yeah, some of them won't, but those that do, it's not about whiskey. It's not about electric cars. It's not about solar energy. It's about taking the diseases that kill us out of our body. What more value added is there than that? Again, see you tomorrow.